Welcome to the Little Beading Closet. I'm Sherry. Today's tutorial is for an anklet. The idea was sent in by one of my subscribers who suggested I make one. So thank you, Karina. This anklet that I made is a little playful because I gave it some dangle movement. And it can really suit any of your tastes depending on the color of seed beads that you use. And if you have a child in your life that likes to craft or wants to do something fun this summer with you, you can let them pick out their own colors and make one together. It's a great way and opportunity to show how you can use math every day in real life. <laughs> do you use math in real life? I do with my beading. Here we go. I'm going to begin with a base of ladder stitch using square beads. Some people call them cute beads. These are galvanized gold. And then we're going to embellish our inklet with some pretty summer colors. Let's take a closer look at all of our supplies. I'm going to use three colors of size 11 C beads. You could use all one, make each little bunting a different color, as many as you'd like. We're going to be using these cube beads or square beads. For the clasp, I'm using a lobster claw or just a ring clasp would work great. Next to it, I'm going to be using wire guards. And next to the wire guard, you may want to add one or two of your size 11 seed beads. I'm also going to use a size 15 seed bead to make a little break between each bunting, although there's nothing stopping you from using a size 11 there if you'd like. I'm going to use a size 12 beading needle because I will make many passes through each one of the cube beads. And again, fire line and a six pound. Time to measure for your anklet. Go ahead and get out some tape and get a piece off. This will help when you want to wrap a thread around your ankle so you can measure it. So we'll pretend that my wrist is my ankle. And I'm just going to put my thread on, wrap it around so it's tight. I'm not going to give it any slack, just completely tight. And see what this measurement is. I'm going to hold it here with my fingers, pull it back off. Now the thread that I wrapped around my wrist, which you would have wrapped around your ankle, for my wrist, it's six inches. You're going to want to add a half an inch more for your anklet whatever measurement it was add a half an inch so I'm gonna jot that down that it's a six and a half inch bracelet that I'm gonna make I'm sure you would like your anklet to turn out even where you have the same amount of length on this end and this end what we're going to do is take that measurement that you made, 6.5. You're going to take that measurement and divide it by 0.625. Whatever your measurement is, divide it by 0.625. Because that is the width of one of these little shapes. Take your measurement here which ended up being 10.4 for me. And you're going to round it down. So when I do that, I end up with 10. So I know that for my, I'm going to have 10 of these triangle shapes. But how many cube beads do I need? You take the number that you end up with here and multiply it by eight because we're going to be using eight cubes for each little triangle. So you would think that we would need 80, but the way the pattern works out, you have to add one extra to make the even at the end. So you're going to take this, multiply it by eight, and end up with, I have 80, and then one extra so now I know that if I use 81 cube beads, it will give me 10 
even triangles. So my suggestion is go ahead and count out your beads first. Eight, 10. I'm doing rows of 10, making sure that there's 10 in each, because I do need 81 cube beads for mine. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And then I'm gonna get just one more. This is my one. That way I don't have to worry about it later. I know I have 81 because I've already counted them. So we're going to start out our ladder stitch by picking up two of the beads. I'm going to bring them down near the end of my thread. So I have two on my thread. And then I'll come into the first one I added. You may know this by heart, how to do this stitch. If so, you can go ahead and add all of your beads. Or a quick little refresher, so once you have the two on, your working end of the thread is coming out opposite from your tail. Come into the leading bead here and pull your thread through. So we have two together. Go ahead and pick up one more cube bead. The thread is coming out of this side. So make sure you needle into the opposite side the thread is coming out of. Pull all your thread through. And you do have to maybe line it up, pull it a little bit, and they might, they're not going to sit perfectly straight at this moment because after we add them on, we are going to come back through to even them up. So come back down into your leading edge bead, pulling your thread through. I'm going to repeat this for all 81 beads, just picking one up. You're coming out of one side of the bead and you just needle into the opposite side your thread is coming out of. Pull your thread through and then step into the leading edge, the leading bead here. And continue until you have all 81 on and then I'll show you how to walk backwards to even it all up. I'm just adding my last two cubes onto my little strip that I've made already. So I'm going to pick up my last one and put it on just like I've been doing and come out through the leading bead here. Now you're going to be looking at your strip of beads and think, boy, they don't sit straight what's going on? This is not quite what I planned. That's what we're going to fix now. You're going to just, you're coming out of the end here and come back to the next one. And then down through the next one. up through the next one. If you don't like to work to the left, if you prefer working to the right, you could always just flip your piece here and continue going up and down. So now we're coming down through this one all the way to the other end and you'll find that your beads will start to line up to begin adding your little triangle fringe, you'll be coming out of your cube bead and pick up one size 15 and come straight back into that cube bead. Now come into the next cube bead. And 
this is where you're going to start your first color. I'm going to start with orange and I'm going to pick up two. Bring both of those next to your work. Skipping the one closest to your needle, come into the seed bead next to the cube strip and through your cube bead. And then needle into the next cube. Picking up three of your size 11s. Bring those up here next to your strip of cube beads. Skip the bottom one, needle into the two, and into the, your cube. Come down into the next cube bead. Pick up four seed beads. We're going to be increasing each time until we get to five. So we're on four. Skipping the bottom one, come into the three in your cube bead. Come through the cube bead. Let's pick up five of the size 11s. Bring that up next to my work. Skip the bottom one. Come into the other four and through your cube bead. Come back the, down the next cube bead. So we worked our way up to five. Now we're going to decrease. So we'll be picking up four. Again, bring that up near your strip of cube beads. Skip the bottom one and come into three. Come into your next cube bead. So we did four. Now we're going to do three. Bring those next to my strip of beads. Skip the bottom one. Come into the two and the cube bead. Step into the next cube bead. Pick up two size 11s. Skipping the bottom one. Come into the one and your cube bead. Now we're going to come into the next cube bead <clears throat> and we're going to do one size 15. <laughs> and do one size 15. Skip the 15, come straight into the cube bead. Now we're on to our next color, so come through your next cube bead. And we're going to be picking up two of our next color. For me, I'm going to work on the pink. So that's what you're going to do all the way down, alternating your colors each time. Now that you've added all your seed beads, we're going to be attaching the clasp. But first, let's check for sizing. So you would wrap it around your ankle. And you know that I've been working with my wrist for an example, though. And you'll see that they pretty much meet right there in the middle. You're going to be adding a clasp, which will add just a little bit of length. 
depending on how tight or loose you want to wear it. You might want to add just one or two seed beads for some more length here. I'm just going to pick up two size 11 seed beads because I'm going to use a wire guard. And of course, that's optional. Not everybody has these or wants to use them, but I'm going to go ahead and put one on and attach my clasp. Before I go any further, you'll want to put your clasp on and then you'll needle through your clasp. making sure that the thread lays here in this groove of your wire guard and then needle into this other little tube on the other side of your wire guard and pull that through and again just make sure that when you pull it through that your thread lays in the little groove <clears throat> At this point, I like to take a pair of pliers and crimp in my wire guard so it's cl closer together. So after I do that, I'll come back through these two seed beads here and down one cube bead here on the end. Go ahead and go through your size 15 under the cube bead and then back up the cube bead and through your two seed beads. And follow this path around a few times so it gets reinforced and you have a strong connection here at the clasp. I went around my wire guard a few times, came through my two seed beads and one of my cubes. Now I'm going to go from that cube into the next cube. Make sure you don't get your beads caught in there. And then I'll come down my next cube like this. And then I'll come through all my seed beads. Going through my one bead on the end and back up these and back through the cube on top. So I'm just going to come down. And after you go through a few times doing this, you'll have it nice and secure and be able to cut off your end. So I'm just going to go up and down a few of my rows, making sure it's nice and secure. Just move your needle to the thread on the beginning tail and repeat the process. Thanks for letting me share the summer bunting anklet tutorial with you. Until next time, enjoy your beading projects and have a beautiful day.